Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've just left Ken Mayer uh, after having a fabulous breakfast at the uh, Druid bed and breakfast. Superb place to stay. I, I would highly recommend it if you're ever in this area. It's absolutely brilliant and it couldn't be more helpful. Such friendly, uh, lovely hosts and hostesses. Um, this is probably day six now of the wee tour and we're hoping to get to the, the end point of the Wild Atlantic Way today. Um, but at the moment we're riding in the, the Beira Peninsula and there's some good roads in here so I hope to capture some good video footage for you and some of the wee highlights down here. So sit back, relax and let's enjoy this wee episode of the Wild Atlantic Way Tour. Wow, this is a spectacular wee road along the, the north side of the Berra Peninsula. And it's much quieter than the Ring of Kerry. <laughs> There's not much traffic in this one. And it's beautiful. And the weather is so much better today. It's a good forecast for the next few days. So hopefully the rest of my time in Ireland might not be... Oh, it might be fun and enjoyable in good weather. Wow, he's come around the corners and the views that open up. <laughs> it's just brilliant. What a beautiful wee bit in here, riding through all these bits, all the rhododendron and bushes and everything out. It's absolutely beautiful. What a great wee road. Absolutely wonderful. We're starting to climb out of the trees now uh, because we're going to go up into the, the Healy Pass which is meant to be a quite a fantastic road <laughs> and the weather conditions today are perfect so this should be this should be a good one we should see this so really well oh it's opening up now you can see the road going away up the hill over there <laughs> that's where we're going hope there's a wee viewpoint up here it'll be good because there's a big lock down at the bottom and it looks stunning This is fantastic. This is brilliant. What a place. What a road. What a great day to see it. This is great. Absolutely brilliant. Have you been up here before? No, first time. Well, this, in my view, is one of the best views in the world. It's beautiful. in Ireland, but in the world. I'm blown away by it. It's absolutely fantastic. It is incredible. Yeah. Mind you, this, are you from Scotland? Yeah. There must be some nice places up there too for the bike. Yeah. But this on a day like now, it's a bit hazy, but it is one of the best views I've ever seen anywhere. Oh, that Just that whole vista down that valley as well. It's yeah. incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Get going again. Wow, that was one magnificent place to stop and take photos. Absolutely magnificent. And it actually looks like this might be another 
fantastic bit. Wow, 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 that was fantastic up there. The Healy Pass. Yeah, this is a this is a good one if you're down here, guys. If you're ever down in this area, this is a good place to come and ride your bike, especially if you get weather like this. <laughs> it's just perfect. The wee end feels great in roads like this. It's so light and flickable. It's an absolute piece of cake to chuck into these corners. It's just effortless. A great choice of bike for this. That's where we are, up there, where the cross is, up in the top there. It just keeps going, doesn't it? Winding its way down the hillside. What a fantastic road. <laughs> It's like a scale extra set. <laughs> That's what it looks like. We're now back on the, the main road and we're heading east uh, on, the, on this peninsula. And <laughs> what a road, look at this. It's awesome, man. There's some bikes coming for a pile of Harley Davidsons. And one of them waved. <laughs> well, there might have been more, to be fair, but I noticed one. That's a Wild Atlantic Way checkpoint. <laughs> well, we're on another fantastic road. Uh, there was two options uh, when to head south from Ken Mayer, and one of them was the Healy Pass, which is the one I had wanted to go on. Uh, but Philip, the owner at the Druid Cottage where I stayed last night, he told me about this one, which was the, potentially the more main road. He would said there were some quite amazing bits on it. So <laughs> I've done the Healy Pass and I'm actually heading back in the direction of Kettenmere, but I'm not going to go the full distance, I'm only going to go about eight miles up it. And then I'll turn around and come back. But uh, so far, this looks absolutely amazing as well. So yeah, I'm quite pleased that he told me about that, otherwise I would not never have come up here. So yeah, thank you, Philip. This is looking brilliant. And since this is potentially the last day of the Wild Atlantic Way tour, it's so nice to end it on a high in some good weather. Definitely on a high, we're way high up in the hills here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is oh, this is an awesome road. <laughs> it really is. Oh, this looks, looks interesting. This wee tunnel. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. And there's more tunnels down here as well. Yeah, this is worth making that wee detour coming up here for this. If you look up, you'll see a big hole in the sky up there. <laughs> it's lovely how they've carved the tunnels through rather than just cut that section away. That was those tunnels that uh, Philip told me about, so I'll be look for somewhere to turn and go back up and head in the opposite direction. It's great on nice quiet roads. Let's go back through the tunnels and head back down this road. It was a good road, so it's worth doing it again. Hello, little tunnel. There's a big gap in the middle of this one. You look up, you can see it up there. And the third tunnel. 
The one that's dark. Oh, it's cold in there. <laughs> back to the point where we turned off up to go up to the the tunnels just at this point so we're now back on the the ring of Bera Road that we were travelling along this is a nice wee place here this is Bali Licky and Bali Licky Bay which is absolutely beautiful a gorgeous gorgeous place this is a lovely road a lovely part of the world It's a busy wee bit down here. It's obviously it's market day in the town square. There's lots of people going about. This is really nice, isn't it? All these boats out there in the water. for parking and you don't normally see any lay laybys I have to say I'm that's rare so I thought oh that's quite handy I'll just pull in there for a wee break and it was lovely to see all the that wee enclosure area with the picnic benches and stuff there it was just so nice and I was lucky I had just had a few wee bits and pieces in with me so I could that's it I'll just sit here and have my lunch it was actually lovely and sit in the sun Coming to the, the end of the Wild Atlantic Way, we're not really that far from Kinsale. It's about you know, 10 miles. Uh, it's been a great trip. I've never actually done anything like this myself. I've been away for a few days on moon, but I've never came away for like a 10 day trip on the bike. And the logical thing would have been to take the Big Tiger, it's a very capable touring bike. But I wanted to. I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to challenge the, the wee Enfield to see if you could actually tour on it. And yeah, the big tiger would be more comfortable, it would be faster and all the rest of it. But this has been a brilliant bike and it's actually been ideal for a lot of the roads down here because they're all quite slow, they're all uh, narrow, there's a lot of challenging bits and this bike is so manoeuvrable, it handles well, it just it carries the luggage as well, you don't, you, you don't know it's there you just don't feel it at all uh, so it's, it's performed well, and it's performed faultlessly there's been no problem at all with this bike for the whole journey and that's over a thousand miles it's done since we left home I'm really pleased, and it's comfortable, you can ride it all day, it's a comfortable bike as long as you get in the mindset of a, a, you don't need to have speed, but equally, because you have, you don't have speed, you can admire the scenery and uh, with so much more. So it's, it's a trade-off, isn't it? If you just want to keep your head down and just see blasted from one corner and corner to the next, you'll get places, yeah, but you won't have seen anything. This is there's a joy in travelling with a small bike. It's less stressful. It's, and it's, in many ways, it's more pleasure, it's more fun. It does remind me of my youth. It's the sort of bikes I used to ride when I was young. They were small, low-powered bikes. But you went everywhere in them. You travelled the whole length and breadth of Scotland. And it was an adventure then. And, you know, quite 50 odd years later, it's still an adventure. I still get so much joy out taking a wee bike and take you to places you've never been before. It's just wonderful. So when I get to Kinsale, that'll be the, the end of this trip. But it won't be the end of the run for me, because I've still got to get home. And that's still a long way. I'm still in southern Ireland. But I'm not going to video that, I'm not going to make it. The whole part of this, this was to be the Wild Atlantic Way, and not how I got to, to Ireland, and how I got home from Ireland. I'm so happy I've done it. I'm so pleased that the wee bike has performed so well. It's, yeah. 
And it's actually amazing how many people talk to you about the spike. Well, that's it. It's the old head of Kinsale. That's the either the start or the end point of the Wild Atlantic Way. So we've done it. We've completed the Wild Atlantic Way on the Mini GS. This is the pretty much the end of the Wild Atlantic Way trip, um, and this is my last night accommodation. I thought I would continue that wee trend since I've done it all the way through the other videos, and this is where I'm staying tonight. It's a, called it's in Nordav and it's in Klona Klona Klinky Klona Klinky uh, something like that. <laughs> Probably not pronounced that properly, um, but I thought I'd show you where I'm staying tonight, and this is the my room. Which isn't too shabby at all, isn't it? It's very, very nice. And very nicely decorated, absolutely spotlessly clean. It's a beautiful, beautiful room. Beautiful, comfo comfortable looking bed. A nice view out the window to the town, which is lovely. There's even tea and coffee making machines there. And a, an espresso coffee machine as well. <laughs> it's a luxury tonight, that's for sure. But it doesn't end there. Uh, there's more to it than, than that. If we walk through this doorway, I have my own wee sitting room. <laughs> There's a comfy couch, a table, a wee chair in the corner. And through here is an ensuite shower room as well, which is lovely. And it doesn't end there. I have my own balcony. We can walk out onto the balcony. And there's seats out here as well. And there's views over to the town. And just over there, it's a short distance. The, the main street is around the corner with all the bars and restaurants, etc. So it's a very short walk into the town. Down below is my bike. <laughs> just below the balcony. I'm sure you'll agree this is quite a special way to spend the, the last night. I deserve it. I've suffered in this trip. I deserve a bit of luxury <laughs> and spoil myself for once. Well, that's the end of the Wild Atlantic Tour. It's been an absolute blast. I've thoroughly enjoyed the trip. It has had its highs and it's had its lows, uh, but that's but that's what's happened on every bike trip. It's the first time I've ever done about a 10 day trip on my own I wasn't sure if I would enjoy it or not but it's been great uh, I've enjoyed touring on the wee bike it's it's excelled itself it's been it's delivered everything I've asked of it it's never I mean it's never been it's totally trouble free it's there's, with, there hasn't been a single issue with the bike during the whole trip uh, and I've still got to get home hopefully <laughs> it'll be okay um, some some of the the lows. Well, one of the lows was sometimes the weather. Sometimes the weather was grim. Some days it was so bitterly cold and wet. It was in strong strong winds. It was it was horrible. Other days when the sun came out, it was absolutely beautiful and glorious. But all of the time, the roads have been fantastic. The scenery has been brilliant. Uh, no matter what the conditions were. Like some of the accommodation, that yeah, some have ranged, ranged from downright grim to absolutely fabulous. <laughs> yeah, the the grim one was the West End Bar and Restaurant in in Fennet. That was an absolute shock. That day I had ridden that whole day, and it was a pretty hard day. I was so looking forward to getting into that hotel and having a shower and cleaned up and going for a really nice meal. Just to discover, the, the room the room was grim. The uh, there was no food available at all, and there was no food food available locally. It was an absolute nightmare. I just wanted to get out of there 
I was on booking.com, I was trying to find somewhere else I could move to, but there was nothing. I was trapped there for, for that night. <laughs> Um, and the, the next night I was at Druid Cottage in uh, Ken Mayer and you know that was an absolutely delightful place to stay the, it was so so different the hospitality, the venue, everything it was just absolutely perfect and Ken Mayer I have to say it was the nicest town in the whole trip, it was a beautiful place I'd go back there in a minute, lovely lovely place to, to visit anyway that's the end of this wee tour. I really hope you've enjoyed watching them. And we'll hopefully we'll see you again soon on another adventure. Bye for now. Well, that's the end of the Wild Atlantic Way trip. It's been a fantastic, what was actually 10 days, although I only filmed uh, six days on the actual event itself. The mileage we covered is probably covered 1,600 miles. Um, about 850 miles of those was actually shown in the, the video, the six videos that you've ho hopefully followed. The other uh, 750 miles was getting me to the start point at Muff and returning home to from the end point at Kinsale. As to the wee, the wee bike, she performed brilliantly. It was absolutely faultless the whole trip. It was never a, one single problem. The only thing I ever had to do for the whole mileage was put petrol in the bike. Um, as to even lubricating the chain and things, the Scott Oiler, it was fitted to it. Again, that just was switched on at the start of the trip and I switched it off at the end. It's just done its thing all the way through and the chain has been well lubricated and there's still plenty of oil in the reservoir so I reckon it would go a couple of thousand miles before you would need to top the, the reservoir up quite easily. Yeah, the luggage worked, worked a dream. The brackets that I made for it, which uh, as well, they've, they're perfect. Nothing, there's been no issues with them at all. Nothing's broken. They're just rock solid. And it's carried the weight so well as well. Once even though they were quite heavily loaded, you never noticed the weight on the bike. It was just, it just performed. So, anyway, so that was the, the little trip on the, the E350. Uh, I set out to see if you could actually tour on one of these bikes. And I think, yeah, you've proved it. Yes, you can. It was actually a joy to ride this little machine for that whole mileage. But it can do it, and it will do it. It, threw, it took everything I threw at it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the wee series of videos that I've put out. Um, and if you got this far, thank you so much for watching them. And I really hope you've enjoyed uh, the content that I've made. And hopefully it's also maybe inspired you to get out in your wee Enfields or any other small bike and go, ex go exploring, go touring. So there's only one wee thing to do, I think, to end this uh, Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, series and that's to give the bike its little own little wild Atlantic Way sticker. Show where we've been. That's it. <laughs> it joins such prestigious things as the NC500, the Hard Knot and Pass, the riding in the Picos, uh, even over to Northern Ireland to visit Joy Dunlop's. Uh, be cappy <laughs> some of the trips that I've done so anyway once again thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the content I'm putting out I will see you on the next one bye for now